Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So in our previous video we have already discussed several concepts related to large language models and how we can perform generative AI works in AWS Bedrock and different other services, right? Now today in this video we are going to explore large language model functionality in Snowflake and specifically in this video we are going to solve an interesting problem of text classification using vector embedding. This concept I have already solved using Pinecone and FAISS or Facebook AI similarity search that same concept I am going to show you in Snowflake as well, okay? So Snowflake supports large language model functionality using Snowflake Cortex and Cortex is nothing but something which gives you instant access to industry leading large language models LLMs trained by researchers at companies like Mistral, Google, Facebook etc etc including Snowflake Arctic an open source enterprise gate model developed by Snowflake. So by reading this first paragraph itself, I hope you are getting it. This is kind of similar to AWS Bedrock. Like in AWS Bedrock, it is having its own model developed by AWS team that is nothing but Titan. And apart from that, it has onboarded various other models as well like Mistral, Cloud A and Llama 3, etc, etc, right? Same goes for Snowflake. Snowflake is having its own model apart from that it has onboarded models from these companies as well okay since these LLMs are fully hosted and managed by Snowflake using them required no setup that's the most beautiful part while working with large language model in Snowflake that is you no need to do some setup just like how you do select count star considering count as a SQL function you can use large language models considering that as simple function your data stays within Snowflake giving you the performance, scalability and governance you expect. Okay, so your data is not going outside. So that is kind of another important part with respect to security while working with large language model using Snowflake Cortex. Okay, right? So without any further delay, let us quickly jump into solving classification problem using these large language models. Okay, so here I have taken some starter SQL scripts where what I am doing, I am creating a table called question data where we'll be storing our training data set, right? So first I'll be creating the database and using it. And then here I'll be creating Snowflake PSC, LLM PSC already exist. Okay, so here I can give create or replace database, okay? So it is done. Now here I am creating a table to store our training data set. So here if you see, insert into question data, in this training data set table, we are having only two columns. One is text, that is our unstructured text data and the category. Okay, like here, what is the capital of France? This is related to geography. Then name the tallest mountain in the world. This question is related to geography. How does quantum computing work? This question is related to technology. Like that geography, technology, science, these three classes are there in our input training data set. Okay, right? So I will run it. Now, if I do select start from question data, here we'll be getting the text and its category. Now suppose we are getting a unknown question and we don't know actually in which category this question is belonging to. And the question is what is the largest ocean in the planet Earth? From the human understanding we can say it is nothing but a question related to geography. But how using programming we can derive it? That let us try to solve using large language models in Snowflake. Okay, so the algorithm is pretty much simple what we followed earlier also for our training data set will be performing vector embedding and the embedding vectors will be storing in some snowflake table here that table itself is acting as a vector storage for us just like pinecone or FAISS okay and then for this test data also we will be getting its vector representation using vector embedding and then we will try to find out this test vector is having highest similarity or least distance with respect to what training vector. So obviously, because this is some question related to geography and here we are having some geography related question as well. So we can understand this way that due to intelligent vector embedding, what will happen in the higher dimensional space, some geography related vector and the vector for this particular text will have highest similarity. So if we sort based on distance, then whatever vector will be having least distance with respect to the vector for this text, for that vector, whatever category is available, that one we can conclude as category for this question as well, right? That same concept what we followed earlier. So if I just write the code, you will understand in a better way. So as a first step, what we need to do, we need to get the vector representation 
for this data set. So that will do. So here if you go to the documentation, here you will see that Snowflake provide various vector embedding models like embed text 768. So what it does, it basically convert any text to a 768 dimensional data. Then we are having embedding text 1024, it convert any text to a 1024 dimensional vector data. Like that way, various embedding models are stored for this POC, we can opt for 768 only, that will work well because this is a simple POC. Okay, right? So embed text, so for syntax and example, you can click on this one, right? And here, this is our code. So I'll copy that and here I'll be pasting somewhere. So here I can give the comment as vector embedding, okay? And here snowflake cortex embed text and here we need to pass the text also. So in our case, the text is basically stored in this text column. So here I'll be giving the column name text and here I can give kind of select query select snowflake cortex embed text from and then here we can give the table name. Okay, right. So on the text column we want to perform embedding. So like this way we can write a select query and I hope you are getting it. We are treating this LLM functionalities also as a simple SQL function that much simple snowflake has done the LLM operations. Okay. Now another important part is model. So what model we can give, let us see. So here we can go to large language models and let's see what all it support. Here if you see these are the models what it support. And maybe for this POC I can opt for Mr. Large because it is having very good accuracy for most of the use cases. Okay. So here model name I can provide that one. Right. So maybe other columns also I can put text comma category comma and then here embedding we are performing and maybe alias name we can give embedding vector okay let's run it so here unknown model mr large okay so here some issue is there a model specified string to be used specify one of the following values okay so i think i have chosen the model for complete which is a different uh, LLM function overall we need to choose the function which is related to embed text v1 okay so here let's see what all models it support so here if you see it support only these two model right so we need to choose any one in between these two so i'll put that and i'll run it so here if you see beautifully we are getting embedding vector and this is basically 768 dimensional data okay right so for each text it has basically converted to this 768 dimensional or high dimensional data okay and now we can easily store this by simply executing a create table command right so here i can write create or replace table and here question data is the table name right maybe i can give the name as question data vector store as okay create table as that kind of command i am using okay right so here maybe i can execute this also select star from question data vector storage so if i currently run this code obviously it will fail because it does not exist so let's store our vector embeddings in this vector store okay replace spelling mistake replace right now let's run it so here it is done now if i do select star from this particular vector storage here we'll be having our training data set its category and the embedding vector okay so kind of we are storing our vector representation in the snowflake database itself now for this unknown test data we need to classify so as a first step what we need to do we need to get the vector representation of this unknown test data so for that i will copy this particular code only and instead of test i'll be putting our test data that is this particular string okay this way we will be getting the vector representation of this correct now we need to find out for this particular text whatever vector we will be getting that vector is having highest similarity with what vector present in this training data set or present in our vector database okay right so kind of cosine distance calculation we will be doing so here maybe i can do select text comma category from this data are available in this vector storage also i can take from here okay from 
and then here we need to compute the vector distance with respect to this vector and training data so let's see whether we are having something in snowflake or not so here i'll be searching uh, vector distance and here you'll be getting one function called vector l2 distance it compute l2 distance between two vectors okay so here vector l2 distance formula is vector and vector both should be vector right so maybe we can take help of this one only so here i can pass this whole embedding via vector l2 distance so this will be our test vector and with that we need to compare our training vector our training vectors are stored in embedding vector column so i'll be taking embedding vector and then i will close the quotation okay right so here if you see this will give us the distance value right now our interest should be in the minimum distance okay right so maybe what we can do here we can simply perform order by okay order by by default order in ascending order or we can say lowest value will be on the top and if we go down the value will keep on increase right and we are interested only in the top side lowest value because lowest distance means highest similarity and for that lowest distance data point what is the category right that is our interest because that we can conclude as same category as of our this question so vector l2 distance order by we have done and maybe instead of checking only the lowest element we can check top three lowest element and we can take the mode out of it something like that we can do so maybe limit three we can perform okay right so this pretty much looks good so i'll run it again let's see whether we are getting any error or not and no we have got no error okay so what is happening here if you see that we asked a question related to geography okay so this particular vector should have highest similarity with some geography related training data only and if you see when we are calculating the vector distance and ordering it based on lowest to highest the lowest distance are coming belonging to geography category only one is science you can ignore that maybe you can take mode of this top three result set that is fine but i hope you are getting it that we can conclude that this particular text is nothing but belonging to category geography okay right i hope you are getting this maybe i can change these questions and put it something like what is the python programming language something like that i have given and if i run it here you will see that the topmost similarity is coming with technology that means we can understand that it is belonging to technology category right and even if you want you can put this distance also as a output as distance right like that way you can put and run it so here you will be getting the distance also so you can see the least distance it is having with technology that means this is a technology question okay what is ai ml and deep learning difference something like that if i run here you will see all are technology right that means this question is having highest similarity with some technology related question only that's why when we are ordering based on distance and lowest to highest we are going that time the top lowest fellows we are getting only technology category so like that way we can perform classification right so i hope you got it how we can consider snowflake as a vector store and perform classification or other operations using large language models okay right so step one is get the training data perform embedding and store in snowflake only you no need to opt for fa iss or pine cone or some other vector storage and as part of step three compute the cosine similarity or cosine distance whatever vector will be having least cosine distance for that whatever is the class that we can conclude as the class for this unknown test data also okay like that way snowflake support some other very interesting llm functionality also like complete and then fine tune sentiment analysis summarization translate so in our upcoming videos we will try to cover all this with real world project experience so this is all for my this video if you find this video helpful then please like share and comment subscribe our channel if you have not subscribed till now and don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our latest videos thank you for watching